can come. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that that's why we're here tonight. That's not too high, Pastor. Just in here. Okay, listen now. Hallelujah. 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 Don't you all let my perspiration bother me. I kind of had an attack. This afternoon, but I said, if I have to sit down in the chair, I'm going to go to sit down in the chair. Oh, do what I need to do. Because let me tell you something. I do know this tonight. Now, I know Bishop will do it. Hallelujah. And I know Pastor Justine will do it. And I know that man over there. Hallelujah. You let me drop dead. He's going to call me back to life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now, y'all laughing. Hallelujah. And sometimes yeah. in your dead places and your dead yeah. spaces, There's an apostle Thelma over there. That's a real prophet. She is a prophet and apostle in my life. She is not the primary, but she is one. And she is always haunted. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise you, praise you. Hey, baby girl. Yeah, I'm going to run because you in a bear, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, but I thank God for her. Uh, we met some years ago, and she's just been an asset in my life. She has called things into me, called things out of me. She's pushed me. She's pressured me. Pastor Bella, how long have you been here? Going on six years. Hallelujah, and if you all think y'all have gone through something just coming to visit, oh, oh you should have been here when she moved here. Yeah. Hallelujah, but she persevered. And those of us that she was supposed to touch, even part of what you see tonight, because she's pulling out of me. Hallelujah. 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 All right, Pastor Justine, here's what I want you to do for me. I want you, we're going to go, women and men of God, we're going to go to Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. Yes. And I'm going to ask you to read, hallelujah, 1 through 5. Hallelujah. 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 Hold on, baby girl. You need my pastor? You think? All right. All right. All right. Now, before you read, uh, I'm sorry. I need you. I take that back. I'm not sorry. I need you to get for us Ezekiel 16, 6, and 8. Please read. Hallelujah. Yeah. Chaplain Delane over there, God bless you. That's the the uh, CEO and that's my head uh, chaplain and the intercessor over there. Just raise your hand so they know who's there. Hallelujah. In, in, in so many ways, she's the, the wind beneath my wings. Hallelujah. My God. And we've got so many others. I've got daughters in here and I thought my son, was here, but I think he had to tip out. And I just thank God for all of you all. Hallelujah. Now, you all, remember, you're, you're, you're not waiting for Jesus to touch you. Amen. You're going to reach out and you're going to touch him. The woman, of, the woman when she touched him, when she reached out and she touched him, he, she said, if I could but touch the what? The him of yeah, his God. Yeah. She didn't want to grab a hold of him. She wasn't trying to shake him. She wasn't trying to embrace him. She said, if I, if I just could touch the him of his garment, so I want you to catch it. Hallelujah, because it's gone. <laughs> Pastor Fair, I'm going to tell you, this is going to be a drive-by. Pastor Fair, I'm going to see you going to be a drive-by. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You ready? Go ahead and read. Okay. The hand of the Lord was upon me uh -huh. and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord uh -huh. and set me down in the midst of the valley, uh -huh. which was Hushul of Bones, mm -hmm. and caused me to pass by them around the valley. Say that again. And caused me to pass by them round about, uh -huh. and behold, yes. there was very many in the open valley, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and lo, they mm -hmm. were, excuse me, and lo, they were very dry. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, What did he say? Son of man, Son of man. can these bones live? Can these bones live? And I answered, uh -huh. What was your answer? Oh Lord God, yes. thou knowest. Yes. Again he said unto me, mm -hmm. Prophesy. Prophesy. Unto these bones. Hallelujah. And say unto them, uh huh. Oh ye dry bones. Hold it right there. All right. What did he say, man and woman of God? What did he say? Oh ye dry bones. Uh huh. Huh? Hear ye the word of the Lord. Repeat after her. Hear ye the 
word of the Lord. Oh, don't act like you're not hungry. Somebody was hungry tonight. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Thus saith the Lord. Uh huh. Thus saith the Lord God. Yeah, yeah. Unto these bones, uh -huh. behold, behold, I will cause breath uh -huh. to enter into you, and ye shall yeah. live. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. Now, Amen. Uh, now hold it right there for a minute. Now let me tell you. Okay, here's what the Lord said. He said, look at and prophesy to the dry bones. Yes. All right. Touching Jesus. You want those dry bones healed and set free. Now, last night we've been talking about a lot of things, but and last night we talked about a, a much of the old. Now, I may touch the old tonight, but I'm going to breeze right past it because we moved into the new before we left this building last night. I don't know about you, but I know that I did. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I've been doing what I've been doing, and those who are in the ministry, God bless you, Sister Kelly, my niece. Hallelujah. We've been testifying and we've been talking about this for the last six months, the last nine months. Mm. He said to me, prophesy. Yeah. Be specific. There was an open heaven. My hands are open. Yeah. Prophesy. Right. Hallelujah. Then we went to Psalms 80 and he said, open wide your mouth. Yeah. Huh? He, he, you want God to open wide his mouth and tell you something? But come on, Sister Rhonda, she can tell you that when she began to open her mouth, things began to happen. Yeah. Then they said there was a shaking and there was a of those bones and those bones began to come back together. Hallelujah. It didn't matter how old you were. It didn't matter how young you were. It didn't matter your status. It didn't matter whether you were single or married or short or, or you know, kind of voluptuous. It didn't matter. But what matter, hallelujah, is he instructed me to prophesy. Amen. So we so hallelujah. I began to prophesy as the Lord told me. That means I began to be obedient to the word of God. I began to do what God said for me to do. I didn't understand it. Hallelujah, it didn't sound like what I thought it needed to sound like. And Bishop, a lot of times I didn't even understand. He told me to prophesy to my land. Prophesy help in my dog and my, to my puppy. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. We're running around looking for, I'm going to slow down. We're running around and we're looking for somebody to prophesy to us. Uh -huh. Amen. I need you to prophesy mm -hmm. to yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're running around and I had somebody to call me and said, Dr. Willetta, I need you to pray for me. So we did. We prayed on the prayer line. Hallelujah. Two weeks in a row, Sister Susie. <laughs> and then she got in my inbox and texted me, God bless you, baby daughter. Hallelujah. And then she said, I need you to pray for this and I need you to pray for that. Okay, <laughs> I sent her print. When she sent me that next one, you know what I told her about? <laughs> you need to pray for yourself. Yeah. I was gentle with it, but I said, dog, if you don't open wide your mouth, see, Satan has silenced us. Hallelujah. It's one thing for the military to have a silencer on their gun to take you out. Well, I need to tell you that if Satan can steal, number one, your joy, if he can steal your voice, if he can keep you silent, you need to know. Hallelujah, he'll silence you and he'll kill you. Mm -hmm. yeah. He'll yeah. kill you in your dream. Yeah. He'll kill your children, or your children's children, and your yeah. children's children's children. He'll kill your ministry, whatever it is. He'll touch that, hallelujah. But the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says it like this. Hallelujah, when you open wide your mouth, in my tongue, hallelujah, is death and life. What are you going yeah. to speak? So I don't speak death, I speak life. And I do know that every time I open up my mouth, uh, you all can have your seats if you want to. <laughs> hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. That if when you open up your mouth, hallelujah, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. The Lord also had me today to put on Facebook. I'm going to release you in just a minute, Pastor Justine. Hallelujah. Oh, my shit. Hallelujah. To put on Facebook just after one of my other spiritual daughters had put uh, something about come and bring your shoes and be ready to worship. And the Lord said to me, and I just got on there and posted and kept doing what I was doing. But I got on there and I said, you bring your, your what did I say, running shoes? Bring your running shoes because we're going to take back some stuff tonight. All right, yeah. Bring your running shoes because we're going to decree and we're going to make some declarations. Yeah. Hallelujah. Put on your running shoes because look, the old folk used to say it like this, I'm running, 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 I can't tell. Hallelujah. Now, I used to sing a song. They used to sing a song. And my daddy told me don't sing that song anymore. I used to sing, I beat the devil running and I'm so glad. Daddy rebuked me. <laughs> my daddy said, don't you dare sing that. The Bible does not say beat the devil running. The Bible says resist him. Yes. And when you resist him, he's going to flee. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, women of God, again, I'm God's little messenger girl. Hallelujah. I don't have a whole lot to tell you, but what I can't tell you this, huh? Hallelujah, you don't run from the devil. Oh, Hallelujah. man. Hallelujah, somebody said, well, I'm going to pray and tell God to make it stop. I haven't been telling God to make it stop. I'm telling Satan to bring it out. Bring it out. You go. You tried to take my life once, twice, three times, but you didn't touch it. You tried to take my son and put my son in prison. Oh, I'm the only one in the house. In the house. In the house. In the house. Well, okay, well, so here's 
Jesus when I'm going to do apostle. Apostle, I'm going to talk to you so you know a little bit more about me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I can't tell about anybody else, but I'm talking about what about what we're left. Honey, let me tell you, when you step out into what we're into, and I'm talking about kingdom, I ain't talking about church. Right? I said I'm talking about kingdom. I'm not talking about church. I don't do church. I'm having pain against pastors, but I'm an apostle. I'm a shit woman. I'm a shit woman. Hallelujah. I'm sent to establish, to regulate, to set order. To yeah. put in government, uh, yeah. hallelujah, to rule, to reign, to prophesy. I've been prophesying to the property over there, Bishop. And rocks are coming up with possum. Possum, I can't quite see them. Rocks are coming up in my backyard, hallelujah. And you would think a tornado, or what did my, my son say? A volcano, I guess, when it erupts. There's a lot of rocks on the ground. We got so many rocks on that background, on that acre and three quarters. Hallelujah, you would think we had dumped them in there. But I've been prophesying to it. What am I prophesying? <laughs> Why Woo! I'm prophesying? Because Satan owes me some stuff. My face is still here in Arizona because Satan owes me some stuff. He stole some stuff. I lost some stuff and some I gave away. And God says he won't give it back to me. So what did you do? I prophesied to it. And when I prophesied to it, hallelujah, shot. Yeah. And the buzz hits me on my property. And the rocks begin to come. I begin to prophesy uh, uh, regions and I begin to prophesy like uh, Apostle Velma told me to, uh, zip code. Yes. Lord, I want yes. my stuff, but it don't seem to be coming. Lord, I don't know what it is. Why don't you bring it to me? Won't you call it in? Amen. Amen. Why don't you call it in? Why don't you be specific? That's right. See, the Bible says over in James, and I think it's 2, 3, and 4. It says that we have not because we ask not. Yeah, and when we ask, we ask amiss. What does that mean? I'm asking the wrong thing. Sometimes it may be a motive. Sometimes I may have a heart problem, and I'm not talking about heart condition. But it is a condition. It is a condition. And it'll kill you. Hallelujah. Because some of us are so fixed with, with no love and, and bitterness and anger and unforgiveness. And my God, and God said, I sent you all as kingdom influencers and as kingdom culture. I sent you to establish, but to walk in. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mercy. Yeah. Hallelujah. And forgiveness. Yeah. But you see, you see, you see, we don't do that. Hallelujah. We don't, we don't do that. Woo, and last night the woman of God just talked to us and, and she let us know, hallelujah, and we've been talking about being silent no more. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. I'm not going to be silent. Yeah. I don't care if you don't like me. What you going to do? I don't care if you're walking away from me. I can handle that. I don't care if you don't talk to me. I'm not in your clique. I'm not in your midst. Yeah. And God knows I don't need your approval. Yeah. 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 See, I've been bought with a price and I've been fixed. Yeah. I had to give up some sin. Hallelujah. I wasn't homeless, but I was almost there. And let me let me get real personal, real personal. Hallelujah. Maybe you want to touch and not put this part on Facebook for a minute. Hallelujah. But the family wouldn't take me in if she didn't have time. But I had to understand that it was good for me to be afflicted because I had to come to the understanding since I was 